as a parent, I'm always looking for ways to save. Sometimes I do really good. Sometimes I don't. This morning we brought in an expert for you. Melissa Letty is joining us. She is an author and a blogger, and her book is called Diaper Bag Coffee. Let's go. Melissa, it's good to see you. Great to see you. Thank you. You know, it is so tough when you are really, I mean, I get down, you know, we all go in like two-week pay periods, yes. right? So I get down to like that last day when I'm waiting to get paid, and I'm like, where did it all go? So I'm thinking if I follow some of your tips, maybe I won't feel like that by the time I get to the end of the month. Well, I hope so. <laughs> and so I have a few tips here today and kind of my guiding principles with these money-saving tips. Three guiding principles. Okay. Quality, double duty, and creativity. Okay, so I like it. Keep those in mind. So your first tip basically is to read the reviews so you know yes. what you're getting, right? Yes, yes. And this is your, your go-to yes. magazine. I love Consumer Reports. Mm -hmm. uh, what I highly recommend new moms do or parents, anyone, uh, subscribe to Consumer Reports, the website, consumerreports.org, for one month, six ninety five. dollars So for just $7, you have access to all of their reviews, especially for ratings of big ticket items like car seats, okay. things that you really care about investing in for your child's safety. Very important. Yes. You can get it online, you can read the magazine, but there's a ton of great information in, in Consumer Reports. Yes. Okay, you also like to repurpose. Yes. So tell me how you repurpose, especially okay. with this baby bottle. Yes. So these bottles, when my daughter was a little baby, you know, I need to feed her. So I use these bottles. Okay. Um, it's a really good brand, Breast Flow. Uh, what I've done, though, I don't need these anymore. I've repurposed the bottles as uh, snack storage containers. So smart. Yes. Okay, so, I like that. Yes, so you don't need to buy items through every stage of your child's life. You can kind of repurpose double duty. Okay, yes. I like that. I like it a lot. Okay, let's talk about some other tips that you have for people. What's next? Okay. Uh, what's next? Um, shop at stores that don't have the word baby or kid in their name. Okay, why is it more expensive okay, yes, sometimes? Yes, definitely. Okay. Um, Kitty theme stores definitely have higher markups okay. and their grown up counterparts. Okay. Uh, the lamp is an example. This? Um, that lamp I got from my daughter's nursery about $30 on sale from Pure One. Okay. A similar lamp at Babes R Us or a store like that, um, there's about a 40% markup, $50 wow. plus the actual product. The lamp is smaller. The design is Winnie the Pooh, it's something that won't grow with your child. This lamp can probably last through middle school, high school, or repurpose Absolutely. it in a living room. That's a great tip that I never really thought about. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. You also like a lot of free fun. I do. So what are some ideas for us to do some fun free things? Okay, well first, I love the San Antonio Public Library. Okay. Um, all the local Gotta branches. Gotta have your library card, yes. everybody. I brought my yes, library card. Yes, important. Yes, um, all the local branches have different free family fun activities, mm -hmm. story time, um, different activities on the weekends too, whatever works best with your family schedule. Okay. Another great um, resource is actually online. It's called Woo Junior. Okay. Um, and you can, parents can print um, coloring pages, puzzles, things like that from this website, WooJunior.com. Okay. Another great tip you have is that, you know, we, we don't have to always buy the most expensive toys that are out there yes. because for whatever reason, kids love to play with whatever they can find around the house. I mean, how, how long did your kids sit in the, you know, th where all the bowls go? That was my favorite place. Yeah. All the Tupperware, I loved it in there. It's my favorite. Mm -hmm. and my grandfather, my poppy, actually said that too. He would say, just give a kid some pots and plants to play with. They'll be happy all so day. True. Mm -hmm. So I brought a homemade arts and crafts project, and I need to give credit to my husband for this. Uh, he scotch taped two cereal boxes together. Love it. And uh, Grace, our daughter, uses her favorite Madeline toy to play with this house. Okay, that is yes. so simple. Again, cereal boxes, kids will get involved. They just like the fact that you're spending time with yes, them, definitely. that you're doing something together, and that they can put stuff in it. Yes. That is a big thing for kids. Yes, I love it. Thank you so much for coming by this sure, morning. Now, you. you guys can follow Melissa on her blog. You can also pick up her book. The book is Diaper Bag Coffee. Let's go. It's available at Amazon.com. And then her blog is there for you as well. You can find it. Just take a look at at your screen. It is mysanantonio.com and you can follow her on Twitter, MML Rights, for more information. All right, don't